hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is one that i have been wanting to do for such a long time i actually wanted to do it at the beginning of summer or in spring because that's when i feel like a lot of weddings happen so i want to do a get ready with me and this would be a look for a mother of the bride or the mother of the groom um, my son got married last year and he got married in um columbia and where we were staying up in the mountains it was very cool it was always like i would say low 70s mid 70s but when we went down to uh, to the city where he got married where the church was on the reception it was very very warm there was no air conditioning in the church so now the products that i'm using today is not what i wore then but these because i used high end for my son's wedding but these are products that i would feel comfortable using in those same circumstances under those same conditions because i know they're tried and true and i have used them while well, i live in florida so i use these products very regularly in my own life getting ready for a day so i just want to share this with you um i think this is so exciting to get ready for a special occasion like that and this is an occasion when you want to take your time and you want to make sure that you cross all the t's and dot all your i's and you just want to take that extra step that you normally would not take on a day-to-day -day getting ready with me of course you would have probably your grace covered unless you like to um sport your your beautiful silver or gray hair which i'm considering leaving it i'll i'll, I'll cover that in another video my nose it just i haven't even started so anyways i want to show you what products i feel very confident sharing with you but the one thing that i want to stress the most is this is not the time to be trying new makeup unless it's like a new lip color that you can you know play with but as far as foundation concealer um you know things like that you need to try something that you feel is tried and true and that you're comfortable with and that it wears under whatever circum circumstances you're going to be you don't want to be buying something and that being your first time that you try it that would be for me that would be a big mistake so i did already have my face prepped and you need to make sure that you do have your face prepped with moisturizer and spf unless uh you know the wedding is at night or something but um so i already have that on so i'm going to put a little bit of the this is the uh elf halo glow liquid filter this might be a little bit longer video because i want to show you step by step okay so i'm going to put a little bit of that because of the uh, foundation that i'm using is more of a matte foundation so i want to make sure that um it doesn't look totally matte on my face so i want to start with that boy this makes a funny noise so i'm just going to use like a fine foundation uh brush to put it on and I just want to put that all over my face, a thin layer of it. And I kept dipping because that's a huge uh, doe foot, but it doesn't pull out a lot of product for some reason. So you don't get much when you go in there. Uh, as you can see, it gives you a beautiful glow, but it is not super, you know, like, I don't like it when you look like you're oily. I like a glow, but I don't like to look oily okay so the foundation that i am using today is going to be this one from catrice this is the hd, HD liquid coverage foundation this you can get either on the catrice website or you can get it on amazon this is like i want to say ten dollars it's not a lot it's a beautiful foundation this is a very thin formula but it has full coverage it is gorgeous I think it lasts all day. It doesn't fade on you. Um, yeah, see how it's running down my face? You need to be careful that you don't get it on your clothes like I just did. So I like to pounce it. I feel like I get a lot more coverage anyway when I pounce my foundation than if I buff it. So I usually like to uh, pounce it on my face. And if you don't need to build it, you know, like if you have, like I have my areas are here and here that I like to put just a little bit more. 
but if you don't need it anywhere don't like i i don't need a lot of coverage on my forehead because my forehead really has like you know it's very even the skin and um i don't have any sunspots or anything so i leave it alone if i don't need it i don't add more foundation sometimes less is more you know what i mean it's better so as you can see I mean, you can still see a little bit of my dark spots, which are pretty dark, but it, it's looking pretty good. And once I apply a little bit of concealer, it'll look, look even better. So the, the uh, shade that I wear this in is 035 Natural Beige. And I usually wear like a light to medium neutral. Okay, so for um, my concealer, I'm going to use a Neutrogena this is the um the clear coverage color correcting concealer with niacinamide and i got it in the shade 03 and i'm going to use a little bit of that on my dark circles like right there and i'm going to use my finger to spread that and then i'm going to take a little bit this cavern right here that is very dark and just put a little bit of that and whatever is left on my finger I just go all the way under my eye but most of the product is going to be where I really need it right there okay the concealer I'm going to wear is the radiant cream concealer by Neutrogena it has peptides and antioxidants and this is in the shade light 2 and again I'm going to put some here some here and I love this concealer. It is very hydrating. Um, it is not thick. It wears really, really well. It doesn't sink into my fine lines. I'm going to put just a tiny bit right here. And I'm going to put a little bit right here. A little bit here. And again, these are things that I don't do on a daily basis, but this is a special occasion. So I certainly want to do everything that I can to make sure that my makeup looks as good as possible and that it's going to last all day. And these are my problem areas. So a little bit extra coverage doesn't hurt. And I go on the area that is dark first. And then I go under my eye. I forgot to put eye drops. I would suggest that too. So you can have some nice white. You know, you know, you don't have any red eyes. But I forgot to do that today. But it's never too late. Even when you, you know, if you forgot by this time, you can just go and get them and put them on. You can also do this if you're going to be a guest to a wedding, right? We still take the time. Or if you go into like a fancy party or anything like that. We always like to take a few more minutes to put our makeup on. Okay, for powder. One of the powders that I really think is an amazing powder, and they also have this in the pressed uh, form, which may be a great idea to get. That way you can take it with you. And they're both just as good. And as you can tell, there is very, very little left. So I use this a lot. And this is the um, Fit Me by Maybelline, and I have it in the shade 10 Fair Light. Because I use it like a um, setting powder. I really don't use it, you know, like to powder my face without makeup. So I'm going to take a small brush. This is a e.l.f. brush and just a tiny bit of powder. Just a little bit. And I'm going to powder under my eyes. And then I'm going to take a bigger brush. This is from Egg Cosmetics. And powder the rest of my face. I'm not using any cream products today. I am using um, powder. Because if I were to use cream products right now, I would probably set it with powder anyways. Because you want it to last all day. And sometimes your cream products do fade. So I decided to just use the powder products. Okay, so that's all we need for the powder right now. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. 
and this is a set of three that I get from Amazon and then it's like $9.99 for the set and this is a really nice eye primer and I use this all the time it's probably one of my favorite eye primers you just need a little bit and it does cancel out any veining that you may have okay so as far as um, palettes that I own that I think would make a beautiful look for a wedding I usually I would normally go for something that's more of a neutral um, myself personally if you like to go with color that's amazing you just you know we each need to do what works for us but I would rather go with a neutral palette so some of the ones that I own I own this one from wet and wild and this is very pretty this is the color icon in commando go commando which is very pretty um, I also have this one from Wet n Wild, and this one is the uh, Awakening Nude Awakening, which is so so gorgeous. You create a really pretty look with that. If you want to go more pinky, you can or peachy with this one here. This one is the I will link it below. I can't find the name. They also have this one here, which is so beautiful. This is always blushing, and I found this one on Amazon. It's also by Wena Wild, and it's so, so pretty. And everything is beautiful except for this one little here that is um, totally glitter. I would That's not anything I would uh, mess with. And this is the one I think I'm going to use today. But you also, this is another very pretty one by Juvia's Place. If you want something that's, you know, pinky, um this one here is rosy very beautiful then you also have these little ones from from essence this is if you want to go cool this one here is if you want to go bronzy here's another one a while this is also gorgeous this is more cool tones this one is in Lights Off. And then two of my favorite ones are also this one by ColourPop. This is uh, that's, that's Taupe, which is very beautiful. That's a cooler one. And Going Coconuts. I think this is such a gorgeous palette. And you can find these on their website and also at Ulta. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use this one today. So first of all, I'm going to take this shadow right here and go a little bit over my lid to set the primer okay and then we're going to start with this one right here and they don't have names so i really couldn't tell you what the name of the shadows are but it's almost like a taupe that's a little powdery so make sure you take that off so you don't get as much fallout on your face but it's a pretty shade make sure if you have any creases on your eyes from your primer and i do suggest that you use a primer and another one that's really good if you want it you don't want to order that one from amazon it will be the um milani eye primer that one is a really good one okay so that's a nice color so next i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with this one right here and i'm gonna take it in my crease also but a little lower It's a lot of powder kick up in the pan, but so far I don't have any fallout. And that doesn't bother me. I can deal with that. Okay, next I'm going to go into this brown right here. And I'm still using the same brush. And I just want to use that mainly in my outer V. Now, if you guys are wearing like, um, let's say a green dress or a blue dress or like I wore like a royal blue dress for my son's wedding. So what I did was I have a Lancome, um, a Lancome eyeliner and I just lined like the outer third of my lower lash line with that, uh, with that brush, I'm sorry, with that eyeliner and it looked really pretty. Okay, I want I want to make it darker. So I want to go into I want to go into this one right here. I want it more. Right now it looks very peachy, and I want it more brown. Yeah, I think that's better. That's 
giving me more of the color that I want. Getting some fallout here. Okay, and then for my lid, I want to go with this one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flat brush. And it looks like a little champagne color. It looks very, very pretty. I'm going to spray it with my e.l.f. coconut setting spray. Let me put it on both sides so I can have it for both eyes. And I normally don't wet my... Um, shadows but i want to make sure that this is going to stay on that is very very pretty okay and now i want to use this one right here to kind of put it in between the dark and the light so i'm going to put it like right here palette it's only like I think it was like $8.99 $7.99 something like that it's not very expensive at all none of these palettes that I show you are very expensive the most expensive one is probably the Juvia's Place <clears throat> but that's a beautiful palette okay I'm going to take the brown and just put a little bit more here okay I'm going to oh here I go making a mess I'm going to swipe any any fallout okay and I'm going to take a small brush this was by BK Beauty and it's like a smudger brush and I'm going to take the brown the dark brown this one and I'm going to mix it with this one and just put a tiny bit on my lower lash line I'm going to take my concealer brush Where's my concealer? And I'm going to put just a tiny bit right here just to clean this up. Okay, I'm going to take my brush, take as much product off as possible, and just blend over here so it doesn't look so, you know, it looks blended right here at the end. I went a little too far out, but I don't want it to look like super sharp there. That so you can tell that I had to clean it up. Okay, I tight lined um, my waterline, but I didn't want to do it. Some people don't like watching it, and I'm one of those people that don't really like watching other people sticking things in their eyes. And now I'm going to use this is from Body London, and this is AM to PM pencil, and it's like a uh, gold and I'm going to use that on my lower lash line and I'm going to use a little bit right here instead of shadow now let me see what everything looks like I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm going to go back into this shade right here my first shade that I used and I'm just going to blend right here. I'm going to take a little bit of that light and just put a little bit like right here. Because that area is very dark on me. So just a little bit. Now for my brows, you pick whatever brow product you like using. Um, today, uh, I mean, I would normally use a pencil also, but I'm just going to use this. This is the Maybelline Girl, uh, Brow Sculpt, and um, it has like one side that has little short hairs that applies the product. And then you turn it over and it has a little longer brush bristles that comb it through. This is really good and it really has good hold and I don't feel like it makes your brows uh, crunchy you know feel like they're crunchy but it does have good holds yeah so that's all I'm gonna do for my brows today as you can see it really darkens them up anyway okay for mascara 
I suggest that you use either a waterproof mascara, which I really don't like waterproof mascaras, but for my son's wedding, I used it. If there's any kind of a possibility that I could cry, I'm going to use a waterproof mascara. Or you can pick a tube mascara, which is also going to stay put until you take it off with warm water. So today I'm going to use a telescopic waterproof mascara. This is a nice one. I like the regular one and I like this one also. And if you need it, I would use um, a primer. If you feel like, you know, your lashes are not thick enough or long enough, I would use a primer. A good one to use is the Essence. It's only $5 and it's excellent. Another one that's really good, and it's not drugstore, but it's really good, is the Little Black Primer by Estee Lauder. That one is a black one. So first I go on the flat side and apply the product and then I turn it over and rake through it. And I don't find this mascara is too hard to remove so I really don't mind using this one. See you get really nice looking lashes. Now if you like to wear eyeliner you can. I mean it's like we all do what we feel comfortable with. I'm not a big eyeliner person. And I feel that if I wear eyeliner, I can't take it all the way into my to the inside because it will fade. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my tears, but it destroys anything that's in my eyes or on my eyes, should I say? So this is it for mascara. So now for um, bronzer. Okay, again, if you have a bronzer that you love, I love this one from L'Oreal. It's a True Match Lumi bronzer, and I have it in 02, medium Mo Mo Mayan. Um, even though it's medium, it's not that dark, so it still looks very nice and natural. And I like to use, I know a lot of people like to use big brushes for bronzer, but I like to make sure that I'm staying where I want it. So I like to use smaller brushes. Because I feel if I use a big brush, it's going to go all over my face. It's not going to stay where I want it. And if I'm wearing my hair up, of course, then I will put a little bit on my forehead. Try to take it a little bit to, to my hairline. And I will put a little bit. Take a little bit on my finger and put it under my lower lip. This gives you the illusion of having uh, bigger lips. See this bronzer is so pretty. It is not, I'm sorry, it is not orange. Um, it's just, it's very neutral, it's very pretty. All right, so as far as blushes, one that is really beautiful is the Milani, any, any of the Milani um, baked, bronze, baked blushes. But these are so beautiful. These are the ones from Catrice, and these are the Blush Box Glowing Multicolor. And look how pretty that is. It's a beautiful mosaic. I have another one. Look at this. So this one is in 20 Cloud Wine. And this one is in number, oh, it also says 20, but it says it's wine o'clock. It's not the same color, so I don't know. So let me swatch them for you, and then we'll decide which one I'm going to wear today. So that's what that one looks like. They're kind of close. This one is a little more neutral, so I think I'm going to go with this one. This is, uh, it's wine o'clock. And I'm going to use the same brush as I use for my bronzer. How pretty that is so so pretty and these are so long lasting guys really they really really are and you go as much blush as you like to wear okay and then for highlighter this one from Catrice is gorgeous this one is called the supreme rose beam number 20 and I love these because they are not bam in your face and that's what i like in 
in a highlighter. So I'm going to take a little bit in this brush right here. See? And they have it in different ones. They have another one that's like a champagne. But that is gorgeous. I'm going to take a little bit and kind of like go on my brow bone. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to go a little bit on my cupid's bow. I'm also going to take a small brush. I'm going to take this brush right here and put a little bit like right here. That is really pretty. Okay, I'm going to try to fix my shadow there. I don't know what happened. I'm going to use the same brush that I just used for the highlighter for my inner corner. And I'm going to take... I don't know, maybe because I've wet my brush. That's better. And it's such a pretty shimmer because it's not, you know, it has like a little bit of, like little micro, I'm going to move you up in a second so you can see, like a little bit of little micro a glitter, but not anything that's going to go all over your face. So... Another thing that you want to make sure that you use, and I forgot to bring it. Let me go get it. Okay, you want to have a good setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is in a special packaging that they had at one time. And I don't like using this all the time because this has denatured alcohol. But for um, something like this, for a special occasion, you want to make sure your makeup stays. So I do want to use it. So I already, since I already have my mascara on, I don't like to spray it on my face. And then I'm going to take a sponge. This is a damp sponge and kind of just push everything in. Okay, I'm going to go back to the powder brush that I used before. And I'm going to go into my powder one more time. I'm going to take a little bit of the powder. And again, I'm going to go into the areas that I normally, you know, like when I start sweating, the areas that can get a little oily. And I'm just going to put it again, and I have like over the uh, setting spray is already dry. But I'm going to put it right over the setting spray. And it also helps to minimize your pores. For some reason, if you do it after you setting spray, you kind of push it in a little bit. You're not going in with a lot. It helps you blur your pores. So the mascara, let's see if I can, for weddings and special occasions, I definitely like to have Baba Boom mascara, I mean, uh, lashes. This mascara gets very hard, so it's not like you can build much. But anyways, um, so now for lipstick. I was going to move you up, but we still need to put the icing on the cake. So if you feel like you need more blush, you can add more blush. I feel like I have plenty. I don't know if you can see it. Sometimes I feel like you guys can't see my blush, and I put more. And then when I'm editing, I'm like, whoa, girl, hold back on that blush. Okay, so for lipsticks, I mean, there's so many good lipsticks. I would wear a lip liner just to make sure that everything is in its place as far as shades is what you feel comfortable with if you feel comfortable with a new lipstick then i will go with a new lipstick i'm not a new lipstick girl okay but today i'm not going to go very dark so i'm going to use this is from let me see catrice and this is a plumping lip liner and this is in the shade starring roll I'm going to fill my lips. And even though it says it's a plumping uh, lip liner, you really don't feel it plumping. The ones that you can really feel are the ones from Too Faced. Those plumping lip liners, they burn just as much as the lip injection. Those things are crazy. So this is the, the lip color I'm going to use. Now, I have this Revlon. I would suggest, and for me, when I go to a special occasion like that, I normally wear a matte lipstick or... I wear a lipstick that I know is going to last, like the the um, 
MAC lipsticks. They're pretty nice long wearing, even if it's a cream lipstick. The Lancome lipsticks are amazing. They last a long time. And I don't know about you guys, but if there's any way that you can afford like a nice special lipstick, I will go for it. If not, there's a lot of beautiful ones at a drugstore. I'm going to show you drugstore ones today. But I don't know. There's something about putting on a nice, luxurious lipstick that just is the icing on the cake. So anyways, I'm going to show you a couple of shades. This one is in One at All, which is a beautiful color. That is the color right there. It's like, um, it's like a pink, but it has like brown in it. So I think it will look beautiful with this, this um, eye look. I pulled a few of them out. This one is a good one from Revlon. If you don't like matte, this one is the Color Satin Ink. Color Stay Satin Ink from Revlon also. And these are, they have a lot of different shades. These are glossy, but they are like a liquid lip. And they will stay on for a long, long time. But I don't know, for some reason I just feel like a matte lipstick almost looks like a little more dressy. I don't know, it's just me, okay? This is from Lancome, and this is in the shade Sugar Red Maple. Then this is a gorgeous lipstick. It's this one down here, so pretty. And this one has like a little bit of a frost. Okay, this is Milani. These are also very nice, long wearing. Now this is a little pinkier, so I don't think I would consider this one. I think I would want something a little more neutral. This is from MAC. MAC has amazing lipsticks. This one is You Wouldn't Get It. <laughs> and this is more if you want to go more into the pink. It is a matte lipstick. So far, I think I'm going for this one, the Revlon. I have a couple of them from L'Oreal. These are long-lasting lipsticks. These are the ones that they sent me in PR. And this is a beautiful, the shade is very close to the L'Oreal one. And this is also matte and it is a very long lasting lipstick. So this one, and it's very comfortable. It doesn't feel dry on your lips. This one doesn't either. They're very comfortable. And what shade was that? That was the shade 143, incompatible. And then this one here, this one is peachier, I guess. And this one is in the color 123, independent. So I think I'm going to go with the Revlon, this one right here, which was the 003 one at all. They do have a lot of different shades and they're very comfortable, long wearing. So I would definitely try to go with something like that. So let me move you up so you can get a better look. So this is the eyes, the lipstick, it's very pretty. And yeah, you get the blush into your gray hair or something, it looks amazing. <laughs> very, very pretty. So let's look and see if I feel like I need to have anything fixed. I'm just blending the blush and the uh, bronzer together and you I always like to do this when I'm finished I like to see if there's anything that I if there's anything that I feel that I need it needs tweaking I want to take a little bit of this one right here and kind of like put it right here all right guys so this is a completed look and what do you think? Do you think this is something that you would wear to a wedding or to your son's wedding? Or I probably should have worn a wig and I would have looked better. But hey, it is what it is. So, um, yeah, let me know. I think it's a very pretty look. I think it's neutral, but it's elegant. And, yeah, and it's got a little bit of shimmer, but not too much. Yeah, the highlighter is gorgeous and it's not too much. It's enough to give you a beautiful, soft look. And I think it's very, very pretty. All right, guys, so this is all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some ideas if you're going to a wedding or you're going to be a mother of the bride or mother of the groom. 
Um, it's such an exciting time when one of your children get married. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Mwah.